Good morning guys, my name is Julia and today I'm going to be bringing you guys through a day in my life. I look so pale in this lighting, but also it's just my winter pill. <clears throat> also, I don't know why my voice is raspy, one of my ears is plugged, don't know why. I just kind of woke up like that. But anyways, it is Wednesday, February 22nd, 9, 17am, and today is one of the few days that I actually get to sleep in during the week because my day doesn't start till a little bit later, my first class is at 11am, but then it doesn't really stop after that. So I'm going to walk you guys through my day really quickly because I get a little bit vlog shy on campus. Anyways, class at 11. It's one of my essential math for econ classes. And then I have lift from 12 to 1. And then from 1 to 2, I'm probably just going to be getting lunch or something. At 2 o'clock, I have pit practice. So if you guys know anything about gymnastics, normally we'll tumble or vault or do certain skills into a pit, like a foam pit. But we don't have a foam pit at our gym on campus. So we have to go off campus to get foam pits. So we're going to be driving to pit pits at two and then we're gonna come back to campus for regular practice which is at 3 30 but we normally get back around four and then that practice runs from like four to 6 30 and then there are office hours for one of my classes from six to seven and i'm not 100 sure if i'm gonna be going to those or not because i don't know if i'm gonna need help with my p set but we'll see the way i set up my schedule is actually really nice because my monday wednesday fridays are like really heavy athletic days whereas my tuesday thursdays are pretty heavy school days so tuesday thursday i have three of my four classes and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I only have one. So I've noticed that this balance really works for me. I used to like split it up two and two, but sometimes it's just, just better to like suck it up and get through the extra long classes on Tuesday, Thursday instead. So this is actually a pretty exciting week for me, athletically at least. Academically, not so much. I have like two papers, an exam, and a problem set due this week. So not too thrilled about that. But on Sunday this week, we have Ivies, which is like the conference championship, but it's a little bit different for gymnastics because we're in like two different conferences. This weekend we have Ivies. It's going to be Penn, Cornell, us, and Yale because those are the only four Ivies with gymnastics. And then we have like a separate conference championship at the very end of season, which is like a month from now but this is really exciting because we kind of get to have like two championships so this will be a really good week i'm excited so i'm done with all the boring stuff and now i get to move on to my favorite part of my morning routine which is my skincare so i don't know why it's just like i do not like brushing my teeth i don't really like washing my face but this stuff so much fun. Um, just gonna be putting on some moisturizer. These things, which I will not be repurchasing because I feel like they don't really do anything and they were just like too overpriced for what they are. And then SPF. This has been one of my New Year's resolutions to wear more sunscreen or just wear sunscreen period because I never used to, but it is a very important part of your skincare regimen. So put it in there. This is just so fun. I feel like a little scientist every morning. My boyfriend is on his like spring break. The way they do their breaks is kind of weird. They do a week in February and a week in April. So he's on a spring break right now. I think I'm gonna go grab breakfast with him and his friend Gerald because they're in town to visit because they have nothing better to do over their break than to visit me, of course. Okay, hi. So these are my fits of the day. For lifts, we are assigned to wear like matching shirts or like the same colored shirts because we go, well, Wednesdays are drift lifts. So Mondays we also have lift, but we lift as a full team at like seven in the morning. But on Wednesdays, everybody just kind of lifts when they have time to. So there's only like three or four people in my lift group out of like our 21 person team. So today was a black shirt. I picked out this one. I love it because my last name is on the back. Honestly, most of the time on days that we have lift, my outfits really fall through. It normally consists of my designated lift shirt, leggings, and a sweatshirt. This is the sweatshirt I picked out. It's our new school logo. It's really fun because Brown gave these sweatshirts to all of the athletes at the beginning of the year during this like ceremony thing to kind of publicize the new logo. And so it's very easy to spot athletes on campus because they always have this gray sweatshirt. And then for practice, we normally wear like tank tops and spandex. You can also wear a leotard, but not many people do that unless they want to. I have this tank top, beautiful Lulu tank top that I thrifted. Mm, one of the best thrifts of my life. And then just plain black Nike Pros. I never know how to do my hair for lifts because I don't want to have it like uptight in a ponytail all day because I already have to have it uptight in a bun for practice, which is like three, four hours of the day. Okay, I think we're gonna have to settle for the low ponytail, but it kind of, I look kind of stupid. 
from the front with a low pony in, but I mean, I guess this is a real vlog, right? You guys are getting the realest version of me because this is what I walk around looking like basically every day of the week. So anyways, I almost forgot the most important part of my morning routine besides sunscreen. Okay, now we're finally done with my like 30 minute long morning routine. I need to go take my vitamins. In the lovely city of Providence, 39 degrees with a high of 44 and a low of 31. I might go with this one today just because it's supposed to get to a high of 44. And that is luxury. And then I'm just gonna be wearing these shoes. Nice and comfy for lift. What would you rate your breakfast out of 10? Out of 10, I'll give it a solid five. How about you, Drew? I'm only eating the potatoes, so um, solid like four. Yeah, today wasn't very good. My yogurt's always good, but this is not it. Post breakfast, I'm off to class. This class is only 50 minutes, so it's gonna end at 11 to 50, but that means I'm gonna have to book it to lift because it's about a 10 minute walk to lift and lift starts at 12. Okay, so I just got out of class and now I am on my way to lift. All right, so I'm at lunch with Addy. We got these amazing bowls. It's like haddock, noodles, cucumber salad, rice, and cauliflower. Okay, so I just finished eating lunch. It's like 1.40 right now. The pit vans leave at two, but I'm heading to the Pizzatola, which is where like our facility is. And I'm gonna tape up my ankles before we leave. That takes like 15 minutes. And I also need to change. So that's why I'm heading over a little bit earlier. If any of y'all were wondering, this is our locker room. We have like shower, hooks, and then everyone's locker. And this is all leftover from the senior meet. <laughs> Woo, go Brown Gym.
So it is 7-Eleven and we just got back from the swim meet. We went to watch Ivy's because I don't know, it just happened to line up this way that Brown is hosting both the men's swimming and gymnastics Ivy League championships, which is kind of a big deal. So we went to go watch the, what was it, relays? It was just relays tonight. So it was only like 30 minutes. So we watched that and now I'm back here because I need to shower and then lock myself in a library to go do a lot of work. I decided to incentivize myself for the long night of work ahead. I got Chipotle. I have a lot of work. Ugh, I have to finish a piece set tonight. I have to finish a paper tonight. Midterm Friday, paper due Saturday. So I need to work on all of those things tonight. Maybe not the paper that's due Saturday. I might push that a little bit later, which isn't ideal, but I need to start studying for my midterm. But yeah, it was just a very long, busy, exhausting day, but it's not done yet. So let's go take a shower. So I just got out of the shower and now it is time to eat. I had to get the red sauce on the side because I don't know what they put in this stuff recently, but it's like way too spicy for me now. I like burn half my taste buds off every time I eat it and have them put it like directly on my bowl. So now I just get it on the side and put it in myself. And I also stole some extra forks for my dorm because Chipotle has the best like plastic cutlery and it's always useful to have it in my dorm. My humongous bowl. I have this thing where I don't work when I'm eating, which sounds weird. A lot of people work and eat at the same time, but I like to associate eating with like my off time. So every time I have a meal, I like look forward to it and then I can like actually enjoy what I'm eating and it can also double as my break. That's what my bowl looks like. It kind of looks like a whole lot of lettuce off to a library. There's a really nice building, which isn't like technically a library, but it's a really good study spot near my dorm. And it's called New Watson. I don't know when it was built, but it's pretty modern, like the architecture of it and everything. And like my dorm's right there. And then the building's like right up that way. So I really like studying here because it's super close to my dorm and it's a nice change of scenery. It's currently like 30 degrees and raining out right now. So I'm not really having it. midnight called it quits in the work uh well not really i still have to go home and proofread my essay but i finished my piece set i finished my reading for my class tomorrow morning i'm gonna try to be in bed and asleep by a, a decent time because i have a 9 a.m tomorrow which has mandatory attendance so i can't even skip it if i wanted to good night friends closing my vlog off right here bye vlog <laughs>